Okay, so our team here at the Oklahoman and NewsOK.com -OK decided that we wanted to redo our Oklahoma and Oklahoma State football intros. They knew that I've had a little bit of success in stop motion animation, so we wanted to try that. And I said, you know, okay, well, uh, let's do it. We're gonna combine 3D and stop motion, and we're gonna do it with action figures. You know, the idea that, uh, that action figures could uh, symbolize uh, the football is, uh, you know, fits in a lot of ways because, um, you know, in terms of Oklahoma, our, see, our superheroes have always been college football players, you know, doing all these mighty feats on, uh, on Saturday afternoons. So uh, it sort of goes together. And kind of cool part of this project, I think, is that we use McFarlane toys. And one of the figures we use is the Agent Peterson figure, which is pretty fitting since he went to Oklahoma. As far as I know, up to a year ago, you know, most toy action figures didn't move. They just kind of made it look good and sit on someone's desk. But these have over 20 different articulation points. This is what they ordered, and they're pretty small, pretty minute when you go to painting details and stuff on them. And it's almost like priming your house had to take some gesso. Uh, that we use on campuses before we paint pictures on it. I took like three or four layers of that to get to cover the numbers to start over and then start painting four or five layers of orange and red and then you just kind of let them dry in between each stage so I started a kind of a assembly line and had to go through that process with each one of them. It's almost like taking clay and really forming it and tweaking it and trying to represent some type of something in real life, whatever it may be. So uh, once you get your shape done, then you texture it and then you light it just like you would in a studio. Without the crowd in the stands, it looks dead. So we uh, got some of our friends and brought them in the studio and just kind of all grouped together and uh, just had fun on the green screen. And basically what we're gonna stitch together, uh, groups of us, so it looks like people are actually sitting in the stands and kind of mix it up so it, uh, it looks real. It's interesting because I've never really worked with 3D and stop motion and it's, uh, it should be pretty cool to see how it turns out in the end. <laughs> stop motion, yes. It is uh, it's a very meticulous task, especially with these teeny tiny figures, the little three inch guys. And yeah, it's 24 frames a second, literally each frame moving it bit by bit. So I, I attach these little metal grippers and then once you're done shooting, which takes a long time, then uh, I actually have to go into After Effects and I rotoscope each out frame by frame. It's a very painstakingly slow process. You know, obviously there's some 3D elements involved and so another thing that I did is took a, a TV swivel tray and just added some green paper to it and that's how I was able on the stop motion side to, to capture around and basically just move it a little bit by little bit. I think it was about 180 pictures total of just going around completely. Let's come together right now and hopefully by the end process, we got something pretty awesome. You know, the thunder's great. The thunder's, you know, bringing great things to the city and everybody loves the thunder, but football's still king. I, you know, if an NBA title comes to town, maybe that'll change, but for now, uh, you know, football's still king and you can, you can just sense a different excitement in the air every August when we, when we start counting down to the season and you know you, hear, you start hearing the uh, drum beats of the, of the bands practicing in the early mornings and people really anticipate uh, that, first, uh, that first Saturday in, uh, in September when, uh, you know, when the stadiums start filling up.